morning everybody and welcome to vlogmas day 10 it is 6 30 in the morning and obviously i am up showered hair done bob's wandering around doing stuff and it is sunday and before church i am hoping to film at least one if not two videos because when i get home from church i need to probably i'd like to edit one of those and get it up my beauty channel kind of gets the shaft so to speak um during vlogmas because i, I can't i just can't keep up with both but I do have some videos that I want to film and get up. And, um, yeah, so that's happening. And I have lots of baking, cooking, like meal prep to do. Today's coffee is going to be the spiced eggnog. Um, and here I guess you guys down my measure my cream. Um, so, yeah, we have church. Bob has to go out and meet Stephen at the farm, which is the, the woods that he... Ooh, anyway, he's the woods that he uses is um, Stevens Woods. So they want to go out and there's one of the property lines or something Bob needs to see. So he's doing that after church and then he'll be in the woods. And I am meal prep, baking, present putting together, that sort of thing. I'm going to try to do all of those things. Um, and also listen if, my, if, I, if I feel like I'm tired, stop. So, speaking of, so I'm going to try to do all those things. So I just want to do a quick little check-in, A, to let you know about the coffee of the day. And, um, yeah, I will probably see you, I don't know, maybe I'll do a check-in before I head to church with an outfit of the day, but I'm just wearing this sweater and some dark jeans. Because that's all I could really feel like mustering up today. I just felt, couldn't, I couldn't want, I can't. Like like uh, Tika says, I can't want to put on, I couldn't want to put on jeans, or I mean um, anything but jeans, so that's what's happening today. All right, I'm going to finish this, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. What was that? All right. Do it again. <laughs> well, that was not really what he did, but. So just to recap the morning for you, <laughs> see, then I put my shoes on. It is 8, what time is it anyway? 8.37, we have to leave for church in eight minutes. Um... But I got a lot accomplished. I'm really happy. Didn't talk to you guys much, but got a lot accomplished. I clearly got myself ready. And I shot two videos. Um, one I'm really excited about these items from Summer and Rose. Um, the, and the other one's a haul video, which I'm always excited about. The haul should probably already, probably already if my day goes well, it's out already. <laughs> um, and then, so it was a haul video and then that Summer and Rose video. So watch for those on the beauty channel and got laundry started the sheets done bed made and I did not get any editing oh I did get the vlog from yesterday up too so anyway I'm putting on my shoes and socks I'll give you a quick outfit of the day and then we gotta get to church we'll see if we can find game look at this, this is his outfit of the day you weren't on the vlog yesterday honey so Again? I know I'm sorry I'm busy. you're <laughs> yeah you're busy all right Sitting in the woods, um, which is what he's going to do again today. Today is the first Packer game with a new coach. Oh, that's right. People wanted our. I had a couple people ask what our opinions on that were. Um, so this is the sweater that I got. The Nordstrom anniversary sale. I feel like it's maybe Castlet. Is that where I got it? No, Trunk Club. I think she sent it to me through the Trunk Club. These jeans too. They're just not your daughter jeans boot cut really dark love them i can wear them to church well i can wear anything to church but you know and then my clark's wedges old old hoops that i don't know where they're from it's my outfit of the day so to grab a jacket here oh, okay. thoughts on mccarthy honey what the people want to know what our thoughts on them letting him go are well team play not even I mean, even before this year seems like there was a lot of lack of preparation and heart yeah and uh, I mean that's all the coach yep so now do I agree with him getting fired with four games I mean I would have let him finish out the year but on the other hand um, our, our Mark Murphy the president of the Packers who has a new GM you know, was it the coach? Was it the players? Now he made a change. He's got four weeks to figure it out. Yep, that's I mean, true. Otherwise, you might see an old, a whole overall, players and all. Yeah, that's true. So, 
So we don't disagree with letting him go. No, I was happy. Fine. I wanted him to do it last year already. So I feel badly about the time of year that it happens. Nobody wants to get let go over on Christmas. But I am quite certain that he was well taken care of. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. 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 Right, exactly. So we don't need to worry about him having presents to put under the Christmas tree. That's what I'm saying. So I just made myself a cup of coffee to go. My second cup. And uh, we're going to head out to church and we'll see you later. All right, we are home from church and I have changed into my Ant Squad shirt. I got these shirts last year. I special ordered them from Feather Nest Boutique. And like she didn't have them. She made them up. You know what I'm saying? Like I messaged her. She said she would make. Anyway. Yes, Kristen, they understand. But you guys understand what special order means. Anyway, so I switched into this. Um, I love three-quarter length shirts when I'm going to be cooking and stuff in the winter because my arms are free of getting wet like when I'm doing dishes, but I am still kept warm. So, anyway, um, church was really good today. It was really, really good. And Bob's out having a stogie before he heads to the woods. He's meeting Stephen out there at like 11, I think. Give or take, because it's 1037. Anyway, um, and I am going to start baking. They had leftover treats from the cookie walk yesterday for sale. And Bob was like, well, we probably just need a couple more of these. Do we now? Do we really? So anyway, uh, I am going to bake up the cookies that I showed you in yesterday so that I haven't played the um, shortbreads that I dip half in chocolate and pecans and then the cutout cookies. So I have to figure out what the best space for me to do the cutout cookies is going to be probably here where I have the stuff all piled up. So I'll get this moved and counter wiped up. I'm going to work on that. I did get one load of laundry done as I told you guys before I went to, went to church and I have the second one in there. That's what I'm going to do today. And packs are on at noon. So I'll put that on and I'll just kind of keep you guys posted as I go here. I'm just going to do, I'm for sure going to bake those and then kind of see how I feel. So. That's the plan. First, I'll tell you what I need to do is eat something because I'm not eating yet today and I'm starving, Mom. So I need to get some eggs going. I wanted egg salad for um, his lunches. So I need to boil up some eggs for that as well. All right, I'm gonna go get going. Okay, I was gonna, I promised to show you guys this recipe so I wanted to do that. By the way, this is what my lunch looks like. Okay, so here are the ingredients for the Christmas shortbreads. Let me screenshot that. And then here in my terrible handwriting, do your best, friends, do your best, are the, ingre are the instructions. So I've pulled this out. I'm going to cut this into the pieces, um, like the cookies, I mean, and get them in the oven. Okay, so I thought I would show you. This is what they look like. And I cut, you know, I cut on an angle so that I get kind of those shapes. Because then what you're going to be doing is dipping half of them you know, like at an angle, in chocolate. But I wanted to see, I wanted you guys to see what I was doing here as far as cutting it on an angle to get them to be this sort of shape. The cookies pulled out and the eggs peeled and so, oops, I have to do a little more of this. Um, I'm just gonna put some, in my egg salad I just do mayo, salt, pepper, and onion powder. I don't put any mustard in there or anything. <clears throat> the last time we talked about this, somebody was like, don't you put any mustard in there? And I was like, no, I don't. I mean, I could see that that would be good, but all I can see currently in here is onion, it's garlic powder. All right, so I wanted those to cool, and I thought, well, those were cooling. I will make the egg salad. I was working on peeling the eggs while they were baking. Um, and I, by accident, I turned off the timer on the eggs, and then I kind of had to guess, and I did all right. They look perfectly, perfectly hard boiled. Without, I don't like it when they get the little color on the outside. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys these. This is what they look like. It's cool enough for me to pick up so you can kind of see. I just like them to start getting just a little bit brown on the bottom. That's my preferred doneness of the cookie. So I'm going to get these off of here, put them on the cooling rack. And then um, next up will be my cuddle cookies. So I have to tell you guys, I, I finally was like, all right, Kristen, we need to get organized here because I couldn't take it myself. So I went and grabbed a basket that I had <laughs> and put all my extra ingredients. 
that I bought just for baking in my little basket. Because sometimes, except for the cornflakes, I couldn't fit the cornflakes in there. That is not happening today though, so I need to find a spot to put the cornflakes. Um, I, don't know, I don't know when those are happening. The cornflake candy happens when I make um, the peanut butter balls, because I just use the extra chocolate for that. And everybody always asks me every time I mention that, cornflake candy is literally cornflakes and chocolate and milk chocolate. You could use dark too, I suppose. But that's all there is to it. There's nothing more than that. <laughs> um, they are, it's the ratio of chocolate to cornflakes that, that makes it tricky. But Bob grew up, this is it's his favorite candy. I mean, I could make nothing else probably and make cornflake candy and he would be just as happy as a clam. So, and Christopher too, my nephew, my oldest nephew on my side, loves the cornflake candy. <laughs> I don't get it. But, I mean, but here's the thing. If you get too little chocolate, they don't hold together. And if you get too much chocolate, it's hard as rock. Like you're biting into something that's hard as rock and you can't really bite it very easily. So, it's a very, very tricky ratio. And there's no measurements, of course. So, I just have to figure it out every time. Anyway, I thought I would show you that I couldn't even take it myself. I was forced to put stuff into a basket, and so now I feel like I have a little more control over the situation here. Sorry, th those little lines that you see happen when the light hits the camera the way it hits it. It just is what it is. All right, so I'm going to move on to doing my sugar cookies now. Um, I have the other ones cooling over there. By the way, in case you're curious, the Christmas shortbreads make three dozen if you cut them to the thickness that I do. Yeah, we are not even two minutes into this game, and the Packers have had two challenges already with new coach Joe Philbin, and uh, lost both of them, and now we're out of challenges. Not sure that was the wisest move, but I'm not a coach. What do I know? Um, so anyway, I have the cookies here. I'm going to have Bob test them and see if he likes them before I make another batch, and I'll, I would do that, I don't know, maybe one day this week or something. But... I have these all ready to go. I'm going to dip those next. Actually, not right next. Next, I'm going to make my butternut balls, which some people call pecan things. I've heard them called Mexican wedding cakes. But I will show you my recipe. Here's the thing. I, I feel it. I'm sorry if the TV's a little bit loud, but I have to be able to hear it in here. So I feel like my recipe is a little bit different for some reason. I don't know. I've not looked up Mexican, Mexican wedding cakes. All I know is that Mine are not dry. I do not like a dry anything. Dry cookie, nothing. I don't like anything dry. And these are a little more, a little more moist, a little more dense than your typical like powdered sugar rolled in cookie that has pecans in it. So anyway, this is my recipe. I don't think I have anything else. No, that's the extent of it. I'll show you when I'm done. All right. 7-7, seven seven, in case you're curious, end of the first quarter. Um, I'm trying to decide this would be the scoop that I use. So I wanted to show you guys, in case you make these butternut balls, this, I really should. Oh, please. Okay, that's better. I just thought I would show you guys, this is the consistency. This is what it will look like. So if you make these butternut balls, don't think you've done something wrong. This is it. But then when you form it into a ball, and I just use a scoop to kind of get the same amount each time, um, it'll form into a ball in your hand, I promise. So on those butternut balls, one thing you want to make sure you do is get out a bowl, a kind of a shallow bowl, that you can roll them around in some powdered sugar. Ugh. Roger Scott's act. <laughs> I'm third in like or something. Oh, he's fired up about something. Anyway, you want to make sure that you have some of this when they come out because um, you need to roll them around in some powdered sugar while they're warm and then put them on some wax paper, which is what I'm going to do. And then I'm at half time is when I'm going to melt the chocolate and dip the shortbreads because I need to be over here where there's space for that. So I'm going to have to go back and forth for these cookies. The package just picked it off for a touchdown. Things are looking up. And we just got a field goal. So, is it 17-7 now? If we make the extra point. So this is the doneness that you are looking for. They just have a little bit of gold into them. Not much. A little bit on the bottom. Anything more than that, and they're going to be less than delightful. 
So I'm just gonna let those cool for just a minute, not very long, and then I'm gonna roll them in powdered sugar and put them, this is what I have here, powdered sugar. And then I'm gonna put them on wax paper to cool completely. All right, it's half time. 20 to seven, in case you're curious, Packers. Um, a lot of game left though, with Packers are involved this year. So I am, uh, I have these done. These, this is what they look like when they're done. This one's headed out to the woods. See ya. Sure. One of the um, dangers of vlogging is that your husband walks out when you're talking to him because he thinks you're vlogging and not, <laughs> not talking to him. Um, just so you know, I'm getting a knife to stir this with. So those are done. I have my nuts chopped. For my pe those are pecans, and then I am just melting, carefully melting the chocolate um, for the shortbread cookies. And then I'm going to get those done here at halftime. I need to later, when it's dinner time, we're having tacos, so I'm going to chop up the tomato at some point for that. And I need to make chili and get that put into the crock pot. I think that's it. I think that's the only like meal prep stuff that I need to do. Oh, I, I was gonna cut up some of the other stuff like the onion that I need and that sort of thing for the one pot spaghetti later this week, but I'm not gonna do that. I've decided I'm just gonna do it later this week because um, I still need to package up coffee and get a package ready to go and you know, I'm just, I'm running out of steam again, <laughs> which is pathetic. It's only 140, I need to, I actually just poured myself a Diet Mango, Diet Coke Mango into my fun little cup that Tika sent me um, with my initials on it. And that is going to help me. I miss straws. I don't know when I'm allowed to have a straw again, but, oh you guys look. I dropped a cookie. I realized this hand, <laughs> my right hand is um, full of stuff right now from checking the consistency. Um, yes. You know, the Packers are actually winning. I don't know what to do with myself. So let me show you. This is what the cookies look like after they are dipped. You can see the one that I dropped. I thought Bob would enjoy those when he got home. Um, and so now I'm moving on um, to the dark chocolate cranberry magic bars. And I have the crust ready to go and I'm going to put that in here because this bakes for how long does this bake for um oh you bake this for 12 minutes first and then you do then it bakes for 18 minutes anyway i'll be able to chop up the onion and brown the hamburger for the chili while this is baking so you know i'm just trying to make the most of my time here so this is what the consistency of the crust looks like i believe that's what it should be anyway it's my first time making them so we'll see uh it's about three o'clock actually 302 I will show you, let's see if this is, it is cool enough for me to move. Um, these look like they will be really good. I just wish the cranberries were a little redder, <laughs> but maybe when I cut them, you'll be able to see them more. And I just mean for pretty prettiness purposes. So while those are baking, I got the chili done in the crock pot and I have it in the fridge for later in the week. Got the tomatoes chopped up um, since I had the knife and cutting board out. To chop up onions I chopped up the onions or the tomatoes for tonight <clears throat> and now I'm going to cut some peppers for vegetables for the week we have some carrots left from last week so I'm going to cut up a couple peppers I probably will cut them all because they tend to get slimy if you get too carried away with the cutting them in too much in advance you know what I mean so um and then I need to make some icing to ice those cookies. So we didn't love, Bob, Bob and I didn't love, I feel terrible that um, my friend gave me this recipe and I don't love it, but Bob and I didn't love the sugar cookie recipe that had the lemon extract in it. So um, we didn't like not like them like we won't eat them. They're just not our favorite. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a batch of icing and ice those up and we're gonna stick them in the freezer. Um, Bob can just pull a couple out when he wants over the next, you know, few months or whatever after Christmas. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and mix up a couple batches of our normal sugar cookie recipe, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today. I haven't quite decided yet, but I need to kind of take stock of what I've done, where I'm at, what days I can do some of the other things um, in between my traveling and that sort of thing. Um, I really wanted I really wanted to have most of my stuff done before the 12th, which is Wednesday, because I'm going to the salon and I want to bring. I think I mentioned that I like to bring the, a big old plate of of goodies. So we'll see. I have to kind of sit down and take stock. I'm afraid to actually sit down, so I'll probably stand and take stock of what I have. And I need to start packaging up toffee so that that's ready to go, and a few other things. I have another package I need to get get ready you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying so yeah that's that's where I'm at I realize that this is a, a, whole, a whole lot of me telling you what I'm doing and showing you bits and pieces but it is what it is some okay, days so I just thought I would show you I the this is the icing that I made for those cookies get that out of the way I want to put them here so I had to clear this off so I put the shortbreads in there butternut balls in here it's always a bit tricky to figure out where one is going to put things I had to open the door uh, and then then we're gonna come out here to the walk-in cooler usually there's something for me to put this on but but my toffee is currently in the way so I'm actually stay um, I'm gonna put these in here although the <laughs> my chili is also in the way let's just see if we can somehow make magic here hmm. do you see how there's too much oh sorry you guys there's so much beer in my way I'm gonna put it down here in the cool select part of the. <laughs> Do we think this is too tall to put in? Oh, excellent. Where you were supposed to put cheese and sausage in the, in the fridge. I'm gonna put my cookies in there. So now I'm gonna ice those cookies. Um, and like I said, I, I'm just putting icing on them. I'll let the icing dry overnight, and then tomorrow I'll stick them in a container and put them in the freezer. But again, I keep watching the game. Like I care, I don't care, it's the Cowboys. So I can put all this butter that I was <laughs> softening back in the fridge. These are the bars, they're still cooling. I'm gonna leave those overnight and I will cut them tomorrow. But I'm gonna get to icing these right now. Okay, it's 4.23 and I'm throwing in the towel. <laughs> um, I just took went and changed, put my pajamas on and um, was going to wash my face and I thought I would say goodbye to you guys without washing my face. I am just running on fumes, but I am happy with what I got accomplished. Um, I mean, I still have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four things on my list because I have to redo the cutout cookies and peanut butter balls, cornflake candies, which those happen at the same time and are not super time consuming. And then the coconut joys, which are a new thing that I'm trying. So I'll try to take a break there and sneeze. Um, I'll do them maybe on a lunch or before work or something um, today or tomorrow. So when I do those, I will show you the, whoops, the back and forth on that, uh, the back and forth on that focus game. I will show you what I do on that and the recipes and all those sort of things. So anyway, I feel pretty good. The only thing I, I didn't do today that I was hoping to do was to start boxing up toffee, but um, that is definitely things that I can do listening to conference calls and that sort of thing. So um, I do travel Wednesday, Thursday this week. So I have Monday, Tuesday, Friday here before work and then after work. So um, I just really in the next two days, need to get the rest of the baking done. The, the toffee packing up, that could wait. And be cutting it close, getting it to my friends in time for Christmas, but I'm gonna do my best. So anyway, thanks for coming along with me today. I'm sorry this wasn't super exciting. Just a lot of me baking and sharing my recipes and stuff with you. Um, and it was, you know, kind of like I had some company with you guys here. So uh, I hope that you guys had a great weekend. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.